What's up YouTube? I'm Caleb Jones back at it again with another video. Today's video is I'm going to talk about why Revive Skateboards is so big. I've been getting a lot of kids hitting me up asking me questions about Revive so I figured I'd just film a video talking about it. So hopefully you like this video. Feel free to comment, subscribe, and like. Okay, let's get to it. Alright, what's up guys? Hopefully y'all had a great weekend. Hopefully you had a good time. Hopefully you're out there skating, having fun, learning new tricks. Just staying positive every day. But something I want to talk about, a lot of kids have been hitting me up, sending me messages on Instagram and stuff like that, asking me what's my opinion on Revive Skateboards, so I figured I'd make a video talking about Revive Skateboards. So, this is it. So, enjoy. Alright, so the thing about Revive Skateboards, everybody in the skateboard industry and the YouTube industry knows what Revive Skateboards is. If you don't know what Revive Skateboards is, you will probably end up knowing what Revive Skateboards is. They're like pretty much like the biggest skateboard company as far as YouTubing right now, and they're killing the game. They're selling boards, wheels, t-shirts, hats. They're selling everything you can think of, think of. Everything you can think of, they're selling. They're selling out. They're selling hundreds, 200, 300 boards a day. They're, like, they're killing the skateboard industry right now. And a lot of skateboard companies such as like Plan B, Element, DGK, and stuff like that, yeah, they sell a lot of boards to skate shops, but more kids are starting to leave those companies and they're starting to turn to Revive. And these skateboard companies are wondering like, why are these kids not buying our boards anymore? Why are they buying these boards that look cheap? Or these boards that have like these graphics that don't look like art? What you don't understand is, when you start making YouTube videos, yes, you build a reputation and you build an audience. You meet kids, you meet people who like your videos, your content, and these kids really like your videos, so therefore, they're gonna support what their person, whoever is behind the camera or doing the YouTube videos is. The kids are gonna support them. And people's like, dang, Revive is so big, but at the end of the day, like, their videos are okay, they're not that good at skateboarding. Um, their board graphics are kinda you know, kiddish, but at, you, you can't judge them by their graphics and you can't judge them by their boards or the wood that they use. Like, some people don't understand that. Of course, you got the hardcore skaters that are gonna hate on that company, and then you got these certain skaters who re relate to that. But at the end of the day, you gotta understand these people who own Revive Skateboards, Andy Strox and Brian A., they're doing stuff for the YouTube community and the skateboard community. They're making these videos to help kids and showing kids, like, look. You don't have to go out here and kill yourself on 30 stairs or jump on the biggest hand around the world to be successful at skateboarding. You really don't have to. Like the crazy thing about me is like I was skateboarding 24 seven, filming, trying to get videos, getting tricks, trying to get magazines, to do all this stuff to become a professional skateboarder. And then I sat down one day and then I just thought about it to myself and I was like, look, if these people out here who own Revive Skateboards like Andy Strauss can make YouTube videos, make a career off of it, make a living off of it, have fun and still have the support of the skateboard community from all the kids, I could do the same thing. I was like, what's the point of me out here killing myself to try to be on a, a, a skateboard company and just be flow and get like four boards a month and they're constantly telling you you need to send footage and skate contests and stuff like that, which is cool if that's really what you want to do. Like with me, like, yes, I want to be a professional skateboarder and I'm sure one day if I keep skating, that'll come. If it don't, so be it. I'm not going to be hurt. But I have the backing of the sponsors of the great companies that I ride for who support me for me and for what I'm doing. So therefore, that's why I started my own skateboard company, if you can see this behind me, which is Essential Board Co. Yes, I just started my company this year. My website is pretty much completely done. I gotta fill in a couple blanks here and there, like add some content and stuff to the webpage. But then we'll be up for sale. We'll have all these boards behind me, t-shirts, wheels, everything for sale. And you know, you gotta start from the bottom and work your way up. Yes, I had to start from the bottom and I have like maybe like five board graphics, which I'm sure they'll probably end up selling out because I've built somewhat of a fan base and a lot of kids support me and I really appreciate that. And these kids love me for the videos that I'm doing and it's crazy because I was out here skating hard every single day trying to prove myself in the skateboard world. But then I started making YouTube videos and it's like these kids love you way more for you making YouTube videos than you out here jumping on a 30 step rail. You go out here and film a video part you jump on 16, 17 stair rails and kids are like, dang, that's cool and, and stuff. But they'll watch your video part two or three times and that's it. But when you're making these YouTube videos, trick tip tutorials and vlogs, these kids can relate to that because at the end of the day, this is what their life's at. Like they go to school, they come home and stuff like that and they want to make these videos but some people can't sit here and talk to, talk to a camera. It's hard to sit here and talk to a camera 24 seven and come up with things to talk about. Some people just can't do that. So therefore they turn to YouTube and watch your videos and they get inspired by that and it kind of gets them to like, okay, well if he can do it, I can do it. That's the same thing with Revive. Revive started from nothing and it just blew up. And then the crazy thing about Revive is a lot of people don't know, everybody that rides for Revive skateboard 
they all have a very successful YouTube channel, so they already have the fans and the support that they need. I respect Revive Skateboards because if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, even the guys on Revive that are on Flow, they all get paid. Which is the coolest thing in the world that Andy actually takes his own money, his own hard earned money that he makes from the skateboard company and YouTube, and he pays all these guys. That's cool because these dudes don't have to go out here and get a job from 9 to 5. They can just skate, make videos for a living, uh, put out content for kids, and Andy supports them and pays them. That is like the coolest thing in the world. Like, I hope that Essential gets to that point that it's so big that I can sit here and I can pay a full team and pay my riders and pay people to just pursue what they love to do at the end of the day. That's why Revive Skateboard is so big because they have a really big audience and everybody on that team has a set successful YouTube channel and it's all kids and just, it's not even just kids, it's adults too. Like, I sit on YouTube and watch some of their videos and watch vlogs and I support everything they do. I don't skate their boards and no, I will never skate Revive Skateboards because I just don't like the shape and the wood. Like, I'm very picky about the wood and boards I skate. Like, I'm just one of those dudes. Like, some people can just skate anything. I can't do that. That's why I started my own skateboard company because I really like the wood that I use. I really like the shape. And I wanted to do something different other than having somebody try to tell me what to do. I can do my own thing. I can make my brand any kind of way I want to. I can put out whatever I want to and nobody can't say anything. But it's just crazy to sit here and talk to y'all about it because I started YouTube and seriously like almost a year ago. Like I said, I was posting videos here and there, but I was paying people to post videos for me. And at the end of the day, I know I say that a lot, but it's crazy to sit here and see that my company is coming together. I have a website, I have subscribers, and I have people who support me. That's like, it's, it's crazy. I never thought in a million years I would make YouTube videos and people would actually watch my videos and subscribe to my channel. And, I just hit like 15,000 followers on Instagram, which 15,000 followers is not a lot of people, but that shows that 15,000 people support me. Like, what more could I ask for? That's like me trying to be the president, you know? <laughs> I would never be the president, but that's how it feels to me. Like, I feel blessed. I am very thankful for everybody who watches my channel and supports me and watches my videos. And all that I say to y'all kids out there, like, if you want to start a YouTube channel, just do that. If you want to start your own skateboard company like I did, do it. Never let anybody tell you you can't do anything. Haters will be haters no matter what you do, but never let that stop you. You know, you will always be successful if you just stay focused, stay on the right path, do the right thing, and just do what you need to do and not worry about what everybody else is thinking. Like, push everybody else to the side, do what you need to do, and that's all you gotta do. I only have 5,000 subscribers here on YouTube right now, and I post videos like every two days, and I'm gonna continue to keep posting videos and more pranks and trick tips, but I can promise you, I'm going to hit 100,000 subscribers one day. And when I do, I'm going to fly at least four or five people out to my house where I live here in Columbia, South Carolina to put them in my videos and probably give them some free boards. And we're going to continue to keep making these videos. We're going to keep growing Essential, growing my Instagram, just trying to put out good content for y'all. And that's what we're going to do. My main focus for 2017 to 2018 is to grow my brand, grow my channel, and support other skaters and help anybody out that I possibly can. That's all I want to do. But like always, thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate it. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram at CalebCaleb23. It's the same thing as Snapchat, CalebCaleb23. Like always, to the next video, adios. Have a great week. Stay safe. Peace. Adios. Ooh.